write us a 100 word horror story about how a person decided to buy something in a vending machine at night, but suddenly something happens. Dan missed the train. Now he'll have to spend the night at the empty station. Things have been going wrong lately. Health screwed, money problems, mealy dumped. Dan viciously hit the vending machine, sleeping on a bench even without a pillow. The machine vibrated and fired Dan an easy rolled pillow. <laughs> What's this? A wish granting machine? Can you give me some cash, Dan? The machine verd and drown some crunchy bills. No fucking way. What else can you do? Will you return the heart of my beloved? As quick, and the vending machine spat out something red at Dan's hands. A human heart, still warm and pulsating. Millie Blonde dropped dead at her apartment. The pathologist will break his head during the autopsy trying to solve this. Frank enjoyed working as a night watchman at the mall. Now he was making his rounds. Well, yes, it's creepy here at night. All these mannequins and darkness. Moreover, the last watchman disappeared lately without a trace. Frank slipped the coins into the vending machine and selected a hot dog from the display. A minute later, the machine gave him an order. Greedy Frank knew that if you kick the machine, it will spit out your money back. And now he did the same trick. This time the door of the vending machine opened. Frank turned plain with horror. He didn't know what was worse. That he saw inside the body of the missing watchman put it into semi-finished products. Or that he, Frank, had a snack here every shift. Haven't eaten since he escaped from prison and hiding in this abandoned hospital. So stuck the hand into the soda vending machine. You are not one of them, are you? Yelled a man who brushed into the hospital sharply. What are you talking about? I hatched. The man examined my prison uniform. So, are you a fugitive? Then you don't know that there is an invasion of bloodthirsty living corpse in the city. I swallowed. So, that's why the military is everywhere. I thought they were looking for me. The worst thing is, the man continued, that these bastards do not immediately realize that they are dead. He turned his back onto me and I saw a fit-sized hole in his skull. Then I looked doomedly at my hand stuck in the vending machine. Will we always be together? Mindy turned to Jack. Young, in love. Eternal, they lay on the roof of the Jack's father's rusty pickup truck, staring up at the night sky. Jack smiled sweetly and kissed her. What a fool you are, of course. Let's go and see what's inside the abandoned circus then. There they found a device that predicts the future. Jack wrote a request. What's in the future from Mindy and me? The device vibrated and issued a ticket. Jack showed it to Mindy. Here you see. Now, let's go home. As soon as the lovers got into the car, a sleeping truck driver crashed into them. Next to the mangled pickup lay a bloody ticket with an inscription, you will be together until the day you die. Barely persuaded Miranda to go to a movie night and after dragged her to the photo booth. The urban legend says that at night in such booths instead of people, ghosts appear in the photo, Miranda darkened. Besides, every time I listen to you, something bad happens. Remember the incident at the water park? Oh, come on, chicken! We fooled around in the booth and soon the picture showed up. They really displayed the ghost of some old man. Is the legend true? Wow. But when why did Miranda appear next to the old man? Remember that I told you that I can't swim, her friend drowned gloomily. And I remember what happened then in the water park, and I understood why the cashier at the cinema looked so strange Then I bought two tickets. I grant wishes. Say what you want. A large and clumsy vending machine mumbled in a calm, lifeless voice. Two thieves tried to open it in a night mall. 
Jimmy held the gun and Bob stuck his arm up to his shoulder into the wind round box. Come on, bend over, Bob huffled. Tell me what you want, repeated the wending. Bobby doesn't seem to take the money, Jimmy said carefully. Nonsense! What a fool would grant wishes for free, Bob replied. Tell me what you want, the machine insisted. I'll die if there is not a cent in it, Bob mumbled. I'm doing it, the automation replied dryly. Bob, I can't stop him, Jimmy shouted, but it was too late. The wish-granting machine crashed down on Bob with his full oar. It didn't really contain a cent. Her daughter bought a notebook from a vending machine and began to draw. Now Amanda could talk on the phone calmly. There was an hour left before the train. Soon Amanda saw an ice cream in Lana's hands and got angry. Taking treats from a stranger's again? I drew it on this notebook and it appeared in my hands, the girl smiled. What a nonsense! Amanda snatched the notebook from her daughter and turned the page. From it immediately jumped off a clumsy children's drawing, vaguely resembling a kitten. Amanda squealed and dropped the notepad. On the page that opened, she noticed an ugly woman. I drew you too, mommy. Amanda immediately got twisted. One eye got bigger and popped out on her forehead. One ear fell off. Her torso turned into a triangle. But I'm sorry it turned out so bad, the daughter sobbed. He lived paycheck to paycheck, couldn't afford separate housing, so at 35 he still lives with his mother. She suffers from an alcoholism and she's a prania. He works 12 hours a day, 6 days a week. The girls avoid him, and his only hobby is watching dumb videos drinking beer. He hates himself and his life. How tired he was. A loop began to grow from the ceiling. The screen blinked. Game over. Shit, what a terrible game, I almost speed myself. The demon Tommy bounced off the slot machine. Told you, Jim the werewolf smiled. Okay, let's go buy some eyeballs on a stick and take a ride through the portal to the neighborhood hell. Anne didn't expect someone to be the 24-hour copper. The gloomy man made copies of some leaflets for about 10 minutes. Anne was nervous, the head was splitting, in vain she drank so much at the copper party. Well, at least Quiet John from the accountant offered to give her a ride. And why the hell did she even come here at this time? There is emptiness in my head, and it's cold, so damned cold. When the man finally stepped away from the machine and noticed in his hands copies of flyers about the missing girl with her photograph on it, and then Anne remembered everything. Her father won't find her alive, because John killed her that night and hid the body. I'm in his refrigerator, and whispered, but her father didn't hear her. A traveling amusement park has arrived, set up its tents in a wasteland outside the city. We have to go there, Jack shouted happily. Cheap crap, Melissa grumbled angrily, but agreed. Needless to say that she spent whole walk soling Jack for the wasted weekends, until they stopped at the vending machine. The wife improvement machine. Stick your shoe inside and you won't recognize her in five minutes. Jack read the instruction on the screen. Come on, it'll be fun, Jack said and stuffed his resisting wife into the machine. There was a dull thud. The machine hummed. A couple of minutes after the door opened. From there, from there, a bloody briquette fell out, tied with a wire. Ready, now your wife doesn't scream, doesn't quarrel, and doesn't take much space, Jack read on the screen of the machine. Let us know which story you liked the most in the comments down below, and also send us new themes for 100 word stories. Don't forget to subscribe and click the thumb button.